It is Sunday sit-down time on the road. I couldn't think of a, a better place to be than, than with you, Norm Stewart, the legendary Mizzou basketball coach. Uh, Norm, thanks for letting us to crash your, your house here and, uh, and talk to you for a little bit. Oh, it's great. We're nice to have you. And uh, looking forward to talking about the Norm Stewart Classic. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, this is a Sunday sit-down, so uh, I have to ask, you know, has anyone told you to sit down, Norm, recently? <laughs> that hasn't happened for a while. I, when I'm in uh, this house, well, there's nobody telling me to sit down. Well, maybe there is. There's one person. <laughs> Perhaps. Well, uh, let's get straight to the, the Norm Stewart Classic. Of course, last year, unfortunately, uh, had to be canceled due to COVID-19. So for you to, to have this tournament uh, back in action, uh, how good does that feel? Oh, we're so pleased. And the thing that happened in that year of absence, the interest level was really high anyway, but now it's gone through the roof. But I'll give you just a couple, three particulars. We have teams from all over the country. We still are emphasizing the local teams and the Missouri teams, but we have room since we play for two days in a row. We have room for others, and so uh, that's the first thing. The other, and our kickoff this year, will be Special Olympics, and we've always donated to Special Olympics, but now we've got them involved, and they're going to play, and, and they open the tournament, the Special Olympics game. So that's, that's exciting. And we have 20 of the best basketball players in the country coming in to play in this. So there's, there's more interest this year than there ever has been. And one of those teams that, that's going to be uh, playing is your you know, former high school. North Shelby is making the trip for the first time. Uh, how special is that for you to, to have someone from, from Shelbyville, uh, a team from Shelbyville, play on Norm Stewart's court? Well, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. And the, the great thing about it, that day is going to be declared North Shelby Day. And the school is out. And they are bringing the band and the team and it'll be a great day. And it reminds me real quickly that 70 years ago, a team from Shelbyville that I was on came to Columbia, Missouri and played the old lab school team. So all of that always uh, brings back, and particularly somebody that's got a little age, brings back all those memories. Hey, and how many points did you score that game? Did you guys win? Uh, we won 63 to 60. You know, those scores, they don't leave you. It doesn't matter how long it's been or uh, which team it was, and particularly if you won. Well, I, I saw you, you gave that game a 10 a.m. start time, so I assume that that's, that's, a, good, that's a good one. Are, are you going to be at all 48 hours, or are you going to pick and choose? Uh, I might miss a few of those 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock games in the morning, but I'll be there for a lot of the others. I think uh, a year ago, and not, not just this past year, but when we were our last time we held the classic i think i got in probably 12 to 15 games something like that but uh it, it's fun and it, it's great that the young people can come in and play in the mizzou arena well coach you, you turn 87 years old uh january 20th of, of next year i'm sorry sorry for bringing it up but uh, you still look great and um i i guess just how, how are you doing for all those fans out there that 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 you know want to We'll know how Norm Stewart's doing. Well, I'm, we're doing fine. My wife and I have been married 65 years, and uh, we're doing fine. Uh, we kind of take turns going on the shelf a little bit, and, and I'm on the shelf now. I've had a few uh, problems, but I'm going to get back. By the time, by the time the classic turns around, I'll, uh, comes around, I'll be ready to go. Well, we look forward to definitely seeing you out there. I guess what's what's the most special moment for you? Uh, you know, being out there watching the, those high schoolers play basketball. Uh, you know, in, in a tournament that's named after you and on a court that's named after you. Well, it's flattering, first of all, and I'm really pleased. But when I think about that, I think of all the people that helped do that. I mean, you can't you, you can't accomplish those things by yourself. And uh, there's an old saying in uh, Shelbyville that if you find a turtle on a fence post, he didn't get there by himself, you know. 
So on the same day as the Norm Stewart Classic, Mizzou is going to be playing Kansas for the first time in a regular season game since 2012. Uh, I'm curious, do you still have any animosity towards the Jayhawks? Oh, no, I never did have. Uh, my history goes back to them when I was in high school and I was recruited uh, by Kansas and Dr. Allen. But when we competed, that was a different situation. Uh, any, anything is competition brings out something else. But that'll be great that they're re renewing that. And I think it's lost its edge just a little bit because it's been, uh, I can't believe it, but it's been 10 or 12 years since we've played. But you put that, you put that uh, rivalry, uh, it's one of the best in the country. And I don't care whether you're playing ping pong or softball or, or baseball or whatever it's going to bring out a, a different element for the games. And uh, the players should enjoy it because they're going to, there's going to be a crowd reaction like no other ball game. And uh, so I'm glad they're renewing that. Well, Coach, you, you coached the Tigers for 32 seasons, more than 600 wins, got the court named after you. I, I'm just curious, what, out of all your accomplishments, of course, coaches versus cancer as well, what are you what are you most proud of you know throughout you know whatever everything you've done in your professional career well i I'm flattered by all that, but you know the thing that happened to me is that I happen to have several interests, and uh you mentioned those things uh we helped start the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame in in Springfield. I'm proud of that uh I've got a couple of books. Uh, we've written a song, uh, a number of things, but I guess maybe I should have concentrated on coaching a little more or something. But uh, the, I think when I think back, all the people that you have to have help you uh, succeed in life, uh, particularly in this type of business, that's the thing that always comes back to me, not just the players, but the other people who help you, help you coach, giving you guidance, giving you ideas. Uh, been, been, been very, uh, I've been very blessed to have some of the best. When you say you wrote a song, are you talking about the cats at Old Mizzou? Is that the song you're referring to? <laughs> if I was reminded of that today about being ahead of our time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But the cats at Old Mizzou, my wife and a uh, friend that helped her do the show, and that was 1987, so that was, what's that, 34 years ago? That was a little bit, that was ahead of its time. And, and they still play that on some of the, uh, on a lot of the stations across the country. From old and bald and down in the back, you would be too if you coached this pack. It's a great song and you were a great coach and it's great to be here with you. Thank you so much for, for letting us into your home and uh, you know, look forward to the Norm Stewart Classic. Get your tickets, guys, starting Thursday. It'll go all the way till Saturday. No excuse because it's 48 straight hours, so I'm sure you'll have some time to, to get there. You bet. Get over there. I'll be there and say hi. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. We'll be right back after this.